and this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve dy by dx plus y secant square x equals to tan x secant square x solution given differential equation dy by dx plus y secant square x equals to tan x secant square x which is in linear form right you know that the standard form of linear equation is linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So we can say that the given equation is in linear equation in y form, right? Or the standard form of linear equation in y. So by comparing these two, we'll get where p equals to secant square x and q equals to tan x secant square x, right? See, dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, where p and q are functions of x. Now, we need to find the integrating factor to the given equation. We know that the integrating factor of this equation is given by e power integral p dx. Now using e power integral p dx, we'll find the integrating factor to the given equation. Okay. Integrating factor equals to e power integral p dx equals to e power integral secant square x dx. Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c. We don't write plus c here. We'll write the plus constant finally in the general solution. So, now replace secant square x by tan x. Then you'll get e power tan x. Which is the required integrating factor. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now using this formula, we'll find the integrating, sorry, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. Okay, y into integrating factor e power tan x equals to integral q. For q equals to, this is our q and this is our p, okay. Q tan x secant square x into integrating factor e power tan x into dx plus c. Then y into e power tan x equals to integral can let tan x equals to t or t equals to tan x. Okay. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then you'll get dt by dx equals to d by dx of tan x. From this we'll get 
derivative of tan x is secant square x then dt equals to secant square x into dx. Now we can replace secant square x into dx by dt and we can replace tan x by t. Okay. Now we'll just write this as tan x into e power tan x into secant square x dx plus c. Now replace secant square x dx by dt and t by sorry tan x by t. Okay, this becomes integral t into e power t dt plus c. Okay, now we need to evaluate this integral. Okay, use I let rule in order to choose the first function and second function. So, A comes first, right? Algebraic comes first. So, uh, T will be our first function. And exponential comes next. So, exponential function will be our second function. Okay, now we use Bernoulli's formula integral u d equals to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 plus so on. Okay, fine. So here T will be our u and e for t dt will be our d. Okay, u equals to t and dv equals to e for t d. Find u dash. Derivative of t with respect to t is 1. u triple dash, sorry u double dash. Derivative of a constant with respect to t is 0. Since u double dash is 0, so we'll neglect all the terms from here. Okay. So now we need to find v and v1. We'll get v by integrating this on both sides. Integral dv equals to integral e power t into dt. Then we'll get v equals to integral e power t dt is e power t. Okay. Now we need to find v1 v1 equals to integral v. Then we get integral e power t dt equals to e power t. Okay. Now we are going to apply this formula for this. We get uv u into v minus u dash v1. Okay. This equals to or not integral. U dv equals to U V U into it is V this V E power T T into E power T minus okay minus U dash V one one into E power T plus C okay fine since we know that t equals to tan x. Now replace t by tan x. Then you'll get y into e power tan x equals to you can take e power t common from these two terms or you can take it later. Okay, this is equals to t tan x into e power t, e power tan x minus 1 into e power t is e power t. So, you will get e power tan x plus c. Then, y into e power tan x equals to take e power tan x common from these two terms. You will get e power tan x times tan x minus 1 plus c. Right? Now, 
we can take this e power tan x2 arches will get y equals to e power tan x into tan x minus 1 plus c by e power tan x then y equals to see so you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we will split RHS into two terms e power tan x times tan x minus 1 by e power tan x plus c by e power tan x ok here e power tan x gets cancelled now you can write this as y equals to tan x minus 1 plus c by e power tan x or y equals to tan x minus 1 plus c into 1 by e power tan x. You can write 1 by e power tan x as e power minus tan x. Okay, or y equals to tan x minus 1 plus c into e power minus tan x. So, this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.